Hey guys, this is Divyansh. Today we are going to tackle one of the most dreaded topic out there for any writer, the writer's block. I'll be honest, I was going through one for the past two days. Now, writer's block is a fancy term which can imply any of the things. It can mean that you are stuck somewhere while writing your story. It can mean that you are having lack of inspiration or motivation. Or, as it is in my case, it generally is just pure laziness, okay, on my part. The first thing that you should do, take a break, close your laptop, just leave the space, think up something else, play a game, play, uh, talk with your girlfriend, do something else, okay, just take your mind off, um, take a couple of hours off and do not think about the story at all, do not think that you're stuck or anything else. Number two read something so i have a few novels um, like game of thrones um, the adventures of sherlock holmes um, a thousand splendid sons and a few more which i just go back and refer to them and i just flip a couple of pages and you know just to get in the tone um, just to get those words going just you know rewire your brain into thinking from the perspective of an author again third thing you can do which Neil Gaiman also recommends and which I used to do personally. So he tells you to go back and read your work again. So say if you're stuck at chapter number three, just go back from chapter number two, start reading it again and you're going to arrive at places or you, you're going to find the bottlenecks that are holding your story back, that are making you stuck there. Um, I deviate from it personally is that I go back and I edit stuff along with it so like um, I was stuck at the end of chapter 2 and so I started going through my prologue again this morning and I started as I read it I arrived at certain sentences which I had which had to be reframed and certain words which had to be changed so I started editing it again so I go and reread and re-edit at the same time which is beneficial for me and you also get in the flow of things the next thing which you can do is watch a movie watch a movie um, either of the genre that you're writing about so say uh, when i was writing secret of the himalayan treasure i used to watch all these treasure hunt movies you know indiana jones national treasure all that stuff um right now i'm referring to movies about writers so um like last night i was watching tokin on hotstar uh, which is about the formative years of jrr tokin and how he got to writing lord of the rings um, apart from that there is a there's an amazing movie called the words it's about a writer and if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. It's a very underrated movie. Um, watch a movie. It's a very good way to rewire your brain into thinking like a writer again, to just pushing yourself to open your laptop and start typing again. The next thing which you can do is write something entirely different. Um, I do it a lot um, because I'm very active on Quora and I'm usually sharing uh, a short story in at least a week or so. Um, and I write there a lot, like almost every single day. So it provides a good break for me. So like I'm writing a romance novel right now, but I'm also writing a paranormal short story on Quora. So it provides a good balance, a good break. It refreshes your mind. The next thing which you can do is plan what will happen in just the next immediate few pages. Okay. And this is something which I uh, learned when I was writing a movie script. I had given a target to myself to complete it in just 20 or 21 days. Um, if you are an author who has outline everything before beginning and you know every, broken everything down to minute details then you just need to revisit your notes but for writers like me who prefer to move on instinct and just plan things a little bit ahead as they move along um, this is a very beneficial step for me so um, currently I was stuck at the end of chapter 2 I had completed that I had to begin chapter number 3 I know what's gonna happen there but you know there are certain filler scenes that I need to cross to arrive at the main parts and I was feeling a bit lazy just to come up with those filler scenes. It's, it's a task. Um, so I just took a pen and paper and it's just wrote down, okay, this will happen, then this will happen, then this will happen. You know what? Five minutes later, I was already writing stuff. It, it was that simple. The next point, seek ideas from other places. Internet is an amazing place, okay? I'm not asking you to copy any ideas, but just go through stuff, um, see what people are writing uh, at other places. Um, there's Reddit, there's Quora, so many amazing communities and just, you know, read things. It will open your mind, it will open your mind to new ideas, okay? If you're someone who's writing romance, 
and so I w I'm writing romance novel right now but I was going on to visit a science fiction thread today on reddit and there was just so many bizarre ideas thrown around and it just opens your mind to think of more things okay another thing which I did um, I like to connect with my uh, readers on Instagram especially uh, so I put out a story over there I was looking for a magical first date idea um, and I just asked them you know um, if you have been on a magical first date just tell me what happened so that you know there are going to be certain firing points through which I can bounce off ideas and just come up with my own story so you won't believe how many people have been on magical first dates I'm literally jealous of them a little bit um, but that is what you need to do you know just go on the internet and search for ideas seek ideas from your followers from other people anything that you can um, it's a very good mental exercise for any author next point and this is something which I personally love to do I'm not sure many other authors will recommend it or not um, I like to go on the and read the Wikipedia bios of some of the most popular writers that the world has ever seen. So I'll read about P.G. Wodehouse or uh, J.R.R. Tolkien or uh, Chesterton or I can read about Amish Tripathi or Ashwin Sanghi, the modern writers in India. Um, just anyone and you know, just reading their biography, especially the early life segment and the career segment, um, that's something which I... That's how I motivate myself sometimes, you know, to see these writers and their journey. And I'm like, okay, I'm on a journey right now too. And I just need to get up and write. Lastly, look into a mirror and narrate what is happening and what could happen to yourself. It's something very easy. And this is something which I learned while I was preparing for my TEDx talk. And uh, when I did, had not prepared a speech and I just had a brief idea what I was going to speak about, I used to look into the mirror and I would start speaking and things will things would just come to me automatically um, update about the novel I'm done with about 15,500 words um, so I wrote about a thousand words today and tonight I'm hoping to write some thousand two thousand more words since I hope that the block is gone for now um, these are some tricks which I have been using these are some tricks which you can use and uh, you know just drop your comments if there are any more things which you do which i might have skipped over um let's remove the writer's blog it's more of a stigma than an actual thing that's what i believe um it's just your laziness or it's just you're stuck or it's just that you're not inspired enough to write um so let's just open our laptops and start writing hey guys hope you enjoyed that video if you did share it with your writer friends with the amateur writers anybody that you know with aspiring writers that you know um, let's spread the word about writer's block and let's cure this author made disease that's what I call it um, hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to this channel if you're watching this on insta subscribe to the handle like the handle follow the handle anyway just stay around these spaces I'll be uploading much much more stuff on writing publishing and everything in between Bye.